I would like to add one more thing too about the high school area. We have road closures in that area due to the trees down, uh, power lines in the roadways, things like that. There is only being allowed the utility companies and public safety into that area by vehicular traffic. Please stay off those roads and out of that area. You're having to turn around in the on a two-lane road that has a ditch that's five foot deep. And we don't have time to come and save you out of a ditch when we're trying to go get people out of houses or search houses to see if we have to get people out of there. Please stay out of that area with your vehicles. Even if you're a resident, come up. We'll get you to your home as fast as we can, but your vehicle may not make it all the way to your house to, at this moment. All right? Thank you. The high school is damaged. Uh, there is a, a numerous buildings down there that have roof damage uh, on it. Uh, there are some walls on, on different buildings that have some structural damage as well. I know that they have their maintenance and uh, construction crews already out there assessing that damage to see what repairs need to be made. Uh, I do know they're not here, so I'll make the statement that uh, Coweta County School Board did close schools this week or today. Uh, and there'll be an announcement either later today or first thing Monday morning on uh, whether or not school will be back in on Monday as well. Right. I just have one question about the fatality. Was that in the city limits or the county? It was the county. How close is it? I, I honestly, like I said, yeah, I just, I just don't have the, the street. <laughs> no, I do apologize, I don't have that, but you know, the information should be coming out soon. So we don't know if it's one male, female? Uh, no, ma'am. Okay. Sure not. Thank you. If I could, please. Our county administrator, uh, Michael Faust, is here. He's been on it since 12 o'clock. Michael, could you fill in some blanks for us? I think you set it up. Okay.